Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Guillaume et bienvenue dans un nouvel épisode de Hit The Tone. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thurman's Guitars and Basses. If you're not familiar with the series, I'm taking riffs, licks, bits of solos and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. As ever, this is a recommendation based format, so go down in the comment section and let me know which song you'd like to see next and I'll get to you as soon as possible. While you're down here, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very, very much in advance. Now let's start with today's song, which is Silvera by Gojira. Finally, time for some French love. Finally! <laughs> A lot of you guys have been asking for some heavier stuff. A lot of you were happy seeing like some Megadeth and Metallica and the next logical step in the, the, the titan of metals, at least in my humble opinion, was uh, Gojira. It's one of my all time favorite bands. The first, I think one of the first bands, if not the first that I've seen live. Uh, it, I mean, they're incredible. Uh, I know the guitar probably doesn't look the part so well, we're just out of stock on the uh, Jody Plantier uh, signature model by Charvel, which is an excellent guitar. Uh, I could have gone for something a bit more metal, but his pickups by DiMaggio are actually quite like medium output. They're very sharp and incisive, but still traditional sort of humbuckers got me closer to higher output pickups. Long story short, this is a Gibson Les Paul dual humbucker guitar, and on the bridge pickup it sounds like this. This is Gojira's sound, there you go. <laughs> no, it doesn't make a lot of sense to actually demo a clean guitar signal when we talk about Gojira, so let's jump straight into our amp and pedal setup. Both of my fellow guitar Frenchmen uh, are famous users of the PV5150 head. Uh, as you know, I like to stay true to something that's a bit more manageable for you guys, and most of you will have combos rather than full stacks. So I'm using my Fender Tweed uh, Hot Rod Tweed Edition. As per usual, the controls will be on the screen, and the easiest way to get to a 5150 tone without using the amp is to use the pedal, which is what I have on the floor. It's uh, the EVH 5150 Overdrive by MXR. In my opinion, one of the best and most underestimated brutal gain sounds in a small box format. The EQ will be on the screen. Uh, it is pretty extreme, <laughs> rhymes, uh, but there is already a lot of bass uh, on the Fender amp. So that kind of compensates for that. Uh, also note that the boost is engaged and the gate is um, not really put to use in there, but I guess it's engaged as well, just so you know. And it's gonna take our sound there. And I think that's it as far as the sound goes. Now there is uh, definitely uh, at least double tracking on the guitars on this song, and I think that's where the impression of echo comes from. I do not think that there is a delay on the actual sound. If you are not recording, if you're not double tracking though, uh, a very short delay could be useful to make all of that sound bigger. But it can easily come in the way of the articulation because the notes are very uh, very close to one another and you really need to have some, some sharpness to it. So a delay might not be the best idea. So I'm gonna keep it uh, dry, per se, and go on with the last section of that video, which is the most important, and is how to play the song. Before I get into it, I just realized I forgot again to mention that everything I'm using today, as well as some more uh, options will be available through a link in the description box down below. You will also find there a link to the tabs for this song if you need to spend some more time 
practicing it. And now onto our tutorial. Uh, before you get started playing, please note that the tuning that they use is D standard. So you take your E standard tuned guitar and you drop everything a full step down. It is not a drop tuning, meaning all your chord shapes are the same. They remain in place. But that is something that is worth addressing because a lot of people think they use drop tunings or even lower tunings than uh, actually D standard and they do for some songs here and there you have some drop C but 90% of Gojira is going to happen in D standard. Now I'm going to cut the explanation into two bits the first one being the main intro riff and the second being that tapping part uh, that happens in sort of a transition between the violins. Starting with our fretting hand <laughs> Now is something that I think is really important to mention about this. Uh, you could easily play the chords like that. Which is essentially the same thing, but I think is very wrong when it comes to uh, slightly later within the verse, when you hear the E chord, which is a D chord, but an E chord uh, ring, where you can clearly hear all the strings uh, being played like that, not as a power chord, but as a proper E major. Chord. That is something that I have seen a lot across YouTube and that is wrong, at least I think. I haven't called the guys to ask them exactly how they were playing it, but as far as I could see in live and just here on the recording, you need to fret the actual E, ma e major, D major in that case chord, because when you hear all the strings ring later during the verse, you can clearly distinguish all of them independently. And I think that's a big part of that sound. But with that said, let's have a look at the picking hand for that. Now I think the very important thing to keep in mind for that riff is that you are playing down the neck in a somewhat lower tuning with a lot of gain. That means you need to make sure that your high end and your mids are tuned in so that you retain definition on mostly on these three notes because they're pretty fast but you need to hear them very clearly. And with that said let's have a look at the tapping part of that riff. Now again, I have seen that played in many different ways across the internet and I am almost 100% sure that it happens there and not on your C string, what is now a C. Now the tricky part about that whole intro and putting these two parts together is going to be transitioning in between one and two, mostly on your picking hand, going from holding the pick quite firmly because it chugs uh, onto a tapping scenario. What I'd recommend for you to get started with is to figure out which finger you're most comfortable with for tapping. If it happens to be the middle finger, then you don't have to move the way you hold your pick. If you're more comfortable tapping with the index finger, however, uh, you need to be able to swipe your pick that way to free up that finger. So that's a motion you can uh, work on and that'll definitely be useful. But with that said, I think that's it guys, you have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Silvera by Gojira. As usual, I hope you had fun and I hope you learned something. If so, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much in advance. Also remember that you decide what song I'm going to be playing next. Just put it down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as possible. And on that, I wish you all a fantastic week and I will see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone. Mm -hmm.